Hey everyone, what's up? It's James here back at it again with another video and uh, today we're diving into the world of audio editing on PC, which I know can be a bit daunting, especially if you're just starting out or, you know, looking to step up your audio game. Now, I've been playing around with a bunch of different software and I'm super excited to share my top picks with you. Whether you're a podcaster, a musician, or just someone looking to polish up your audio for videos, there's something here for everyone. Oh, and you know, but before I forget, if you want to check out any of the software I mentioned in this video, no matter if you're on the hunt for free options or willing to splurge on some of the more, let's say, premium stuff, I'll just check out the links down in the description. I've put them all there so you can easily find what you're looking for. All right, let's not waste any more time and jump right into it. Here are my top audio editing software picks that you've got to check out for your... All right, so... um. Let's dive right into talking about Adobe Audition, which is, you know, a powerhouse when it comes to audio editing software for PCs. Now, the first thing you might notice when you open it up is the interface. It's pretty sleek, to be honest, and it's uh, very well organized. You've got your multi-track, waveform, and spectral displays uh, right there, which can be a bit intimidating at first, especially if you're coming from a more basic audio tool. Mm -hmm. But once you get the hang of it, man, it's like having a full-blown professional studio at your fingertips. Now, in terms of features, um, Audition is packed with them. It's got this really cool feature called Lotto Ducking, which is great for podcasters and video creators. It automatically lowers the volume of your background music when it detects someone speaking. So you don't have to manually go through um, and automate the levels, which, you know, can save a ton of time. And then there's the noise reduction capabilities. I mean, it's just it's fantastic. You can take a noisy audio clip and um, with a bit of tweaking, you can make it sound crystal clear, which is pretty important if you're doing like professional grade work. But one thing to um, keep in mind is that Adobe Audition isn't necessarily the easiest for beginners to just, you know, jump into. There's a bit of a learning curve and the software, it's not free either. It's part of the Adobe Creative Cloud Suite. So you're looking at a monthly subscription fee here. But, you know, you're paying for quality and this software is used by professionals in the broadcasting and music industry. So it's like, you know, you're getting your money's worth. Lastly, uh, let me just say the integration with other Adobe products like Premiere Pro is mm. pretty seamless, which if you're already in the Adobe ecosystem, that's a huge plus. You can send stuff over to Audition for a detailed audio edit and then pop it straight back into your video project without any hassle. Uh, in conclusion, if you're serious about your audio production and you need something that's going to give you top-notch results, Adobe Audition is um, definitely a contender for the best audio editing software for PC, um, hands down. So uh, let's talk about Audacity. I've been using it for a good while now, and, and honestly, it's one of those programs that kind of surprises you with how much it can do, especially considering it's free. So um, you've got your basic tools, like your cut, copy, paste, you know, the works. But what's really neat is that it also has a bunch of built-in effects, which are, yeah, they're pretty handy. What I like about Audacity is that, yeah, it's got a bit of a learning curve, but it's not too crazy. You open it up and the interface is um, pretty straightforward. You can record directly into it or import your audio files and just get going. And the cool part is once you get the hang of it, you can dive into more complex editing like noise reduction, which is super useful for cleaning up your recordings. Makes a huge difference if you're uh, dealing with background noise or hiss. Now, um, one thing to keep in mind with Audacity is that it's not just for basic editing. No, no, it's got some serious power under the hood if you're willing to explore a bit. I'm talking about things like multi-track editing, which is essentially a game changer if you're working on more elaborate projects, maybe podcasts or music. And uh, the community is great too. There's a ton of plugins available that can, you know, really expand what you can do with it. So, but um, it's not all sunshine and rainbows, right? The interface can look a bit well dated. And if you're used to more modern software, it might throw you off a bit. And the whole thing with Audacity is it's powerful. Yes, but it's not. I wouldn't call it intuitive all the time. You'll likely need to watch some tutorials, maybe do a bit of reading up to really um, unlock its full potential. All in all, though, for a free tool, I'd say Audacity is pretty darn impressive, and it's definitely worth checking out if you're into audio editing on a PC. All right, um, moving on to FL Studio, which you know is one of those heavyweight contenders in the realm of audio editing software particularly if you're eyeing something for um, music production. FL Studio has been in the game for quite some time. And over the years, it's kind of 
evolved into this really intuitive yet super comprehensive digital audio workstation. It's definitely a top pick for PC years. So one of the things I absolutely dig about FDL Studio is it's a uh, workflow like it doesn't matter if you're a rookie just starting out or if you're a seasoned producer fl studio has this really neat and um flexible interface that lets anyone jump right in you've got this channel rack where you can sequence your patterns the playlist where you align everything and the mixer man the mixer's got these effects chains audio sends sidechain control advanced automation it's honestly really robust um but let's talk about plugins and sounds because that's where LA Studio kind of just blows a lot of competition out of the water. It comes packed with a ton of native plugins that, not going to lie, they rival some of the pricier standalone VSTs out there. And when it comes to synthesizers, where you get stuff like Citrus and Harmer, which are both powerful synths that can really help you craft some unique sounds. Now, there's a bit of a learning curve. I won't sugarcoat that. It might seem daunting at first because there's just so much you can do. But once you uh, get the hang of it, you start to appreciate how much control you have over your music production. Plus, their customer support and community forums are pretty solid. So if you're hitting a wall, there's usually someone around to, you know, help you figure things out. So, yeah, if you're serious about your audio work and want something that grows with UFL, the studio is certainly worth considering. Next up, we have Avid Pro Tools. And if you're into audio editing, you're probably um, familiar with it, or at least you've heard the name. So Pro Tools is like considered the industry standard, right, for audio professionals. It's packed with, I don't know, an insane amount of features that are designed for, well, both music and post-production. And, well, the thing that really stands out is its editing capabilities. They're super robust. Um, you can nudge tracks. You can trim them with, like, really fine precision. And then there's the mixing workflow, which is just... It's just top notch. Um, diving a little deeper here, Pro Tools offers this really neat thing called clip gain, which uh, allows you to quickly adjust or match audio levels, right? Right from within the timeline itself without having to mess with uh, fader automation or anything like that. Plus, if you're big on plugins, man, Avid's got this thing called AX plugin format that's optimized for, you know, high performance, which is pretty cool. But um, I do have to say Pro Tools... It isn't exactly, let's call it, beginner friendly. There's definitely a learning curve and it might feel a bit overwhelming if you're just starting out with audio editing. And another thing, the price um, can be a bit steep, especially for the perpetual license or their subscription model. So you got to make sure it fits into your budget. All in all, um, if you're serious about audio production and you need something that's just, you know, going to give you that professional edge, Pro Tools is, it's definitely worth considering. But um, don't forget to, way in the cost and the learning curve. And uh, yeah, just take the time to figure out if it's the right fit for you. Uh, so that's my overview of Avid Pro Tools for you. Great piece of software, but be sure it checks all your boxes before you, you know, dive in. All right, folks, that about wraps it up for our deep dive into some of the best audio editing software uh, for your PC. I really hope you found this video helpful and that it gives you a solid starting point to pick the software that's going to work best for you and your projects. Um, remember, all the links to the products we talked about today are right down there in the description. So feel free to check those out for more details. And hey, if you enjoyed this video, or if it saved you some time in finding the right audio editing tool, give that subscribe button a little click for me, will you? It really helps out the channel, and you'll get notified every time I drop more content, which, trust me, you won't want to miss. Got any questions, or is there a particular piece of software you want to know more about? Just drop a comment below. I love hearing from you guys. I'm always keen to clear up any doubts or uh, nerd out about the details if that's your thing. Don't forget to swing by my other videos for more software reviews and tutorials. You might just find the answers to the questions you never knew you had. All right, then. I've been James, and you've been fantastic. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Keep editing and keep creating.